Everything was saturated with cars my whole childhood. The old man, he was doing all the car magazines, custom rodder, custom vans and trucks. And so you'd come home from school and you'd go in the office and it would just be cars, cars, cars. So he was just always there. Name's Ryan Ford, do chopped, hard metal and illustration for a living. The old man is Eddie Ford and he was mad obsessed with cars for a long time. <laughs> Couldn't stop collecting them. He's been in hot rodding for decades and done a lot for the auto industry and auto scene. Was building cars since back in the 50s. So he'd phased out of building cars by the time I was around. Got this mate, Stork, he's an absolute cracker bloke. He came up to me in the pub one day, he goes, I really want to do something different with my van. Thinking about this Marlboro paint job. I said, oh, that's a great idea. So we painted it out in the yard on the grass, almost raining, just rough as. And then we were like, okay, well, do we put a three-way? And I'm like, nah, need to put a big block in it. I reckon it's making around mid 600 horsepower at the moment. It looks pretty angry when it's coming down the road at you. It's, it's got a bit, of, a bit of stance about it. I race it for him pretty much. And the car drives really well at the track, you know, just like dead straight. Bit of a handful to drive. Now it's making 10 pound boost. It doesn't really behave the, the same way each time. So depending on the traction, temperature of the road, it's now just spinning the wheels first and all the way through second. And then it lifts the front up really high and then the steering gets really light. So it's good. It has your attention every time you drive it. I do just love building cars and obsessed with muscle cars and fast cars now. So I've got a 68 Dodge Charger with a big block and a five speed that's in bits at the moment, but going back together. And I've got a 68 Camaro that has a 515 Merlin big block with a F3 Pro Charger. And that one's been in the family since 1970. Started out in sign writing actually, and then from there went across to pinstriping and custom paint, and then went to illustration. Pretty hard to go past Von Dutch and Ed Roth for pinstriping. They were the two guys I really looked up to. If I had to sum up Chopped in one sentence, it would be a loose experience. wanted Chopped to cover off yeah, music, camping and drag racing all in one weekend without having to go anywhere, just all on one side. Yeah, we get a wide range of people coming to the festival. I mean, literally everyone. Any style person out there, they're there. Nearly all my mates turn up if they're not being slack. Tons of people come across from overseas and yeah, it's quite widespread now. When we first fried up Chopped, I think it was based, you know, a little bit around the hot rod custom culture scene. Now it just covers anything here. The van's got a Gen 6 454 out of a Silverado, late 90s one. We put the biggest blower cam we could fit in it, so it had to die grind each piston to clear the intake valve and put some roller rockers in it. That's it. Other than that, it's four bolt main, 454, pretty much stock. Yeah, it's got two 850 hollies on it and it's got snow performance water meth injection. It's got two speed power glide in it with manual valve body, 3800 stall converter and a 35 spline nine inch with three fives. It's got Pontiac 15 inch by seven inch wheels out of the stage which looked like a Holden 14 inch rim. It's still got all stock six cylinder suspension in it. You know, haven't changed anything. Just put a cast iron big block over the nose and uh, put some new shock absorbers in it. 
it's pretty difficult to manage my time between all the jobs you're trying to do throughout the year. I think the main thing that uh, drives me behind all the work is that I, I love driving fast cars. I just want that all the time. And the only way to do that all the time is work your ass off to pay for it all.